Hello viewers, today we're going to be doing a tear down of this General Electric dehumidifier. Excuse the poor lighting for the next moment or two. I just turned on the lights behind me. Once they warm up, it'll get much better, less shadowy here in the front. Of so this is the General Electric model number uh, ADEL20LYQ1. It is a 20.28 20 pints per hour, and this is new enough that it should be measured under the new standard. It's dated 9 of 2019, so it was probably sold in the summer of 2020. It uses 0 0.14 kilograms of R410A refrigerant. It does not explicitly state the manufacturer around here, but I suspect it was likely made by Hayer, as Hayer seemed to be doing the majority of the manufacturing for General Electric over the last couple of years. You know, the lights are coming on, it's getting a little better now. Uh, it is UL number SA7251, which I believe somehow that, that number can be used to, to uh, determine the manufacturer. So let's see how this comes apart. We've got two screws on either side it looks like and then four screws on the back. If this is dirty we'll clean it but I don't think it's gonna be. I think this is pretty low hours. This is just so cheesy and plastic. Looks like we got a couple more screws in the front here as well, potentially. I'm going to be giving this one as well as the Whirlpool one to my neighbor. So I just figure we'll do a tear down and check it out before I give it away. Make sure it's clean and everything. the back or is there more holding it on I think it's ready to go So here's the uh, the back of it. The compressor is a Quingan compressor made in the China, and interestingly enough, there's like no rust on this whatsoever. So this must be very low hours. See if we can get the front off and take a look at the coil. Then in theory if we were going to clean it, we'll be using the same disassembly procedure. The filter just slips out down there like that. It's got some hours on it, we need to clean the filter up. I'll wash this before I bring it over, but uh, definitely not much. We've got two more screws at the top. Looks like there's one right in here, and the same place on the other side.
pretty sure that it should be coming off now. Yep, there we go. It's pretty clean inside. Yep, coils are clean. Just a little bit of dust, which we can just kind of wipe off like this. I can't believe there's no uh, no rust on here. That's very surprising. It's a chintz unit. We got a row, one row evaporator and two row uh, condenser. But curiously, there is no signs of rust anywhere on this thing at all. So this must be low hours. I mean, usually you start to see rust on this modern junk within a couple of days of operation. Very surprised that there's no rust on here. Well, so we now have access to the coil. We can spray some coil cleaner on here, clean it up, whatever. Uh, but there's nothing to really clean, so we're just going to put it back. It's got like a blue coating on the coil, which is some kind of anti-corrosion coating, which is fine. But I think where it really needs to be is over here. Because this, this part where we have the dissimilar metals always seems to be a problem with rust. So, I don't know why uh, it was not sprayed over the whole thing, but at least it's sprayed in some parts, I guess. Alright, so let's put it back together now. One more thing we'll point out, I suppose, if it clogged up, right, and it wasn't draining properly, your drain hole is right here. See, there's the output, it comes out this little hose hook up here. And the hole is kind of right in line with where that stops. So you could flush some water through there, get that out. And then junk that built up in there. Yeah, nothing to clean here. This is all this is all good. You know, for whatever it's worth. These GE dehumidifiers don't seem to be built too poorly. The screws are all the same size. That disassembly process was pretty painless. Now granted the coil probably is going to leak and it'll puke the charge within a couple years. But uh, design wise I don't have too many complaints. That was pretty reasonable. It's kind of a shame that these don't last because when they're working, they work relatively well. But they so consistently don't last. pretty good ball bearing motor kind of weird that the uh, blower is not flat on the back but I guess this piece goes over there and makes the seal the capacitor is somewhere in here oh, like I said before the coils notoriously leak on these things I doubt it will last long enough to need a capacitor replacement. Highly unlikely.
Well, all things considered, that was pretty easy. So it features a Quingan compressor, which is a pretty common brand you see today in various different window units and so forth. I guess you could say Quingan is a, a name brand compressor at this point. I'll clean the filter. It's labeled front, that just slips in under here like this. I'll clean that before I get it on. It goes in here. The buckets are too small on these things, they fill up real quick, but I don't know. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, in terms of serviceability, I'm kind of surprised. Usually these things are clean and neck to get apart, but that wasn't bad. The only problem is it likely won't last long enough to actually need to be cleaned and serviced.